Will you not read the first three chapters of the last well-preserved scripture of God? The Quran? No, because the Quran is not a scripture of God. It is a collection of myths, misogyny, and superstitious prejudice. I would be better off reading Aesop's fables, which make more sense, and are also better written. You are starting with a prejudice that Quran is not the scripture of God because it contains myths, misogyny and superstitious prejudice. While every happening in the world can be explained if we suppose that God exists. He has sent messengers to every nation of human beings, to inform them that we were created for a short trial in this world, and God will recreate the world with a different physical laws, where we will have a body which will not die. And there will be changed physical properties of everything we see. As we cannot completely imagine that new world, he has given glimpses of that world for us to imagine and thus be convinced of the rewards and pains of hereafter for the deeds that we do in this world. His messages were altered with the course of time, and because of selfish or careless people, so he sent the message again and again until the last one, which was preserved forever. You say that you want the truth, and still you are not agreeing to read a few chapters of Quran, even for the sake of seeking something to counter my arguments? This attitude of yours proves the existence of Satan, who tries to blind good human beings, to examine the truth. God has informed in every scripture, that there is an entity called Satan, who is an avowed enemy of mankind, and the sole purpose of that entity Satan is to delude human beings away from the message of God, because he knows that a good human like you who wants to know the truth, will get convinced of the truth if he reads Quran. Quran is not a book of superstitious prejudices. Superstitions are from Satan and God and Satan are two opposite things. Watch the video. Holy Quran tells about existence of pain receptors. Dr. Zakir Naik.